Murakaza Neza, my wonderful peoples. I am escaping Chigali again. This time I'm going here in Urera, a district in the northern province of Rwanda. I'm going to be live streaming another Potato Farmers Day that's going to happen in a few hours. All right, so I just arrived at uh, the location. Now I just need to walk carefully down this very steep hill to where the people are. Uh, man, look at look at look at my road. Oh dear, almost fell down. So this is going to be my working place for the day. It's so beautiful. And the people I'm gonna be seeing are somewhere there. One of the challenges that I'm facing in these random gigs that I'm doing is determining what price I should charge for my services. For this one day gig, we agreed upon a hundred euros for a day where I would come with my own equipment and take care of the live streaming from A to Z. So, I came out with the latest iPhone and the latest wireless recordings from Rode, my, my stand of course and my knowledge of recording. Is, is that a fair price though? Would you accept it? Especially knowing that people like these young ladies who are doing hard physical labor daily won't even make the same amount of money after working for a whole month? Let me know in the comment section below. Personally, the main reason why I accepted this gig was because I could go outside of Chigali during a lockdown and explore parts of Rwanda I've never been before. Until I see all 1000 hills, Rwanda will never bore me. I guess I'm still in love with Rwanda. Okay, so we just finished the work. We are just doing a little bit of evaluation uh, on, online with the people who are like uh, on the other side of the view. Um, yeah, it went, it went well. A little bit of technical issues there, but hey, you learn some stuff. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, this is an amazing plot of land, guys. If someone wants to build like a Airbnb or something, this is what I would recommend. Even though right here, it's like, uh, it's very close to the water. I can like, even the ground is not really sturdy, but it's, it's amazing. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Give this video a like if you haven't already. And of course, subscribe. And I'd like to see you in the next video. All right, see you. Bye bye. Oh, they are like, hey, 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 Interconnection from Holland to Rwanda. Tukaji onorin. Esprit, esprit. This is very steep, eh? Huh? Ah, welcome to yet another beautiful day right here from Chigali. Right now I am in Jikondo for yet another random gig that I'm doing today. I thought I'd take you along with me. I am at uh, Zani Heza headquarters and I'm going to be helping out with uh, voiceover recording. So this is the headquarters entrance hall. Unfortunately, I have the habit of arriving on time and finding that there are not people here yet. So we're waiting on all the actors to show up and then we'll align everything and then, we, and then we'll start recording. So in the meantime, we'll just wait. Okay, we have a new candidate arriving. So one thing I like about this Sunny Hazard place, they make you wear slippers. You know, because the founder is someone who lived in Japan, so he has had this uh, habit. So you have to leave your shoes right here, and you get one of these slippers, which is quite unique. All right, so we're just sitting here, waiting on everyone else. One. Good evening, Okay. 
Alright guys, we just finished the recording. Thank you to my lovely voice coach assistant here, <laughs> the speech therapist who also helped me out. It was a lot of work, but I think we got it uh, we got it done as usual. And that's the director of the movie, Leo, walking in the back. Hey. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I'd like to see you in the next one. Don't is forget it, to it, subscribe it? and uh, like this video. And <laughs> yes. Maramuche. Bye bye. Zwei <laughs> zwei.